All right, here we go. Uh, this always gives me a chuckle because, I don't know, for whatever reason, I'm never sure if I'm actually live. Um, let's verify that we're live today. And if you can hear me, you can see me. Uh, comment and let me know that you can hear me, you can see me. So let's see. We'll go to your channel, and we're going to click on this button here. All right, we see an ad, so that's a good thing. Of course, we're going to skip this ad. And... Hey, I hear myself. So great. I hear myself. I see myself. Life is all good. I, I, always, uh, I always run into a little bit of an issue with that. If you are on the live, comment where you're from, like, subscribe, do all of that good stuff. What we're going to do today is we are simply going to just, just build a business, build an online business for 2022. However, I need your input. This is only going to work if you, if you comment, if you join the chat, and you add words. This is going to be much better than if I just talk, because if I just talk, um, I think you'll be I think you'll be bored. But if you can add some input, if you can help direct this thing, I think we could put something together. That's really nice. We I did this a few months back, and, and we found something pretty cool, pretty interesting. And so let's go ahead and do that again. We can build an online business. There are so many different ways to build an online business. And let's go ahead and do one of those again today. And what you saw earlier in my screen is basically the thought process that I approach whenever I think about doing another online business. Uh, last week, I yesterday, a few days ago, I don't remember. It's been a whirlwind. Uh, this has been a short week and a long week. Um, a few days ago, I, I taught you, I showed you how I'm using Google Translate to make money even though I, I don't know Spanish at all. And so using that, for example, um, I have a, a complete plan where I'm going to go through these steps and potentially make money. So um, as you can see here, this is how I approach any potential business opportunity. And this is how you could or you should do it too. Um, these are the different levels to help you make money in the short term while building out the long term. So if you have a business idea, if you have a niche, if you have a product that you want to promote or talk about, comment down below. Otherwise, we could do something um, that I've been thinking about and I'll be building out eventually. Um, so go ahead and let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, comment, do all of that good stuff. Uh, so we'll get started here in probably another 30 seconds. I get real antsy with the silence and, and I don't want to ramble. But um, just to talk about that, how to make money with Google Translate. If I were approaching the same thing, uh, I know my traffic source is YouTube. I've got the keywords all figured out. Uh, the affiliate programs I talked about, the different affiliate programs, the ones that I can make a little bit of money, and then the other ones that I can make a lot of money. Dog products, that's a that's a good, that's a really good. Uh, Michael, thank you for commenting and thank you for jumping on. How are you today? And then with digital products with um, that how to learn Spanish, even though I don't know Spanish, the plan is to find someone and um, offer them money to create a customized course. Now, what I've done is I've gone through and I've done the legwork and I've reached out to people over on over on Udemy, uh, what I'm going to do, what, I, what my plan is, is to find someone that is uh, on Udemy with a Spanish course or a sp series of Spanish courses, and they're not making a bunch of money. So I'll reach out to them and say, hey, look, um, I've got two opportunities for you. I can either split the commissions with you 60-40 uh, on our Spanish course, where you do all of the, uh, you actually teach the course, I host it, and you know, I bring the traffic and whatever money we make, we split it 60, 40, or can I just buy outright, you know, a, a copy of your course for X amount of dollars and it's 100% mine. Most likely, especially if they're not getting sell, sales over on, on Udemy, um, I think they'll be willing to split 60, 40. Where they get 60%, I get 40%, and then we could price the course or courses plural accordingly. So I think that's a cool opportunity. That's what I'm going to be uh, shooting for in the coming weeks and months. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I create a video. Uh, let's go. Here's my channel. This video, how to use, how I use Google Translate to make money. I don't know Spanish at all, but I think that's a cool opportunity to make some money. So uh, Michael here. Uh, Michael says dog products. That's going to be interesting. And there's lots of opportunities that, that are out there that, that we could model and we could follow and potentially make money. Everything from um, a course, if we're thinking about digital products, we could do like maybe a quick start guide. We could come up with all sorts of stuff to potentially make some money. 
any other suggestions that are out there uh, besides dog products because we can we can we can do a, a few different things when it comes to dog products um, we can start a blog we can start a YouTube channel and that's what what I have written down with traffic you have to figure out which traffic source you want to use for um, and, and that'll help you with keyword research so uh, we'll talk about that in just a moment any other ideas or opportunities out there if there aren't anything else by 4 36 p.m here in the great state of wisconsin we will roll with dog products like i said i get kind of impatient and antsy when it comes to um just the silence so let's see we've got 4 35 on the clock in just about another 30 or 45 seconds we will roll with dog products uh, michael if you're still on the live do you have any um dog products is kind of general and broad do you have a niche down area of dog products are we looking at like uh, harnesses are we looking at chew toys what are we looking at within dog products um because that's a, a pretty big niche in and of itself we could just do like dog clothes and and potentially um go from there so um let's go ahead and start rolling this thing down the hill our niche is within dogs lots of lots of opportunities what we can do and what I would like to do, if I had no idea what to do, where, where to get started, you can start by doing one or two things. You can just type in general terms into YouTube and Google and see what comes back. I like to start with, with Google. Um, so if we're looking at dog products, we could, we could do like best dog products 2021. And again, we're gonna we're gonna sell digital products. Uh, physical products take too much time. I'm not big on drop shipping and starting an e-commerce so store. Um, so that's why we're gonna do digital products because we can create the product once and sell it over and over again for the rest of our life. So uh, 36 pet products our readers are loving. So we're gonna click on this one. This one's over on Buzzfeed, Buzzfeed.com. And so what we could do: portable dog paw washer. That's interesting. Um, what we would probably want to do is we'd want to find a digital product. But what, what I'm most interested in right now is keywords and keyword research. Now, because I have created some content in this niche, I know of easy, of easy keywords that you could hop in right now. So um, if we wanted to belabor the point, we could. Uh, but we could say like, we could say dogs. We could just type in dogs just like this, hit enter. And then we can find low competition keywords. Or another thing that you can do is you can look up things about German Shepherds. I did a video a few months back about German Shepherds. Um, that, you know, is a good opportunity. So we could do like, um, let's do dog breeds. And what we're doing in, in this instance is we can look up, uh, let's do, so what we're, the, the theory behind this is we're, the dog niche or pet niche in general is really competitive. And so it's going to be an uphill battle if you just create content on dogs and pets. However, what we found in our research is that people are looking up information regarding individual dogs and they're starting blogs for their individual dogs. Uh, and so let's do this one. And so we could put this word in the, put this word in Ahrefs and find keywords that way. And we could do the same thing with YouTube. Uh, my, I, I have to apologize every time I jump on live for whatever reason, my computer slows down to a grinding halt whenever I decide to do a live stream. I'm not interested in the national championship. All right, so um, what was it, Akita, I think it is? A-K-I-T-A. -A. Uh, let me just type that in, A-K-I-T-A. -A. I think that is. Yeah, okay, so great, I spelled it correctly. And so I'm just gonna take this over to a Ahrefs. Now you can do this with any dog, you can do this with every dog. And I'm gonna open up a new, I didn't mean to do a new window, but here we are. Um, <clears throat> new windows seem to take forever to. All right, so while that's working, let's take a look at dog. And then as you can see, 52 million monthly searches, three million keywords. Let's find keyword difficulty of five or less. Now we're just looking for ideas. We're looking for words that, or common phrases that are popping up. Can dogs eat mango? Can dogs eat shrimp? Uh, can dogs eat cherries, pistachios, pickles, raspberries? Do you see the, the theme here? People are looking up, um, can dogs eat these different things? 
who let the dogs out lyrics. If you are old like me, you know what that means. Um, <laughs> that's some of the stuff. Our dogs ticklish. That's interesting. Our dogs. Let's try our dogs. Let's include the word our. Our, like that. And let's go back over here to this one. And we're going to paste in Akita, which is the type of dog, which I just mentioned. Let's take a look at the matching terms here. It says the keyword difficulty is only 48 for the word Akita. Now, the one thing that you'll have to worry worry out about when it comes to these is people are looking to buy and sell dogs. So that's not what we're interested in. Um, so there's 1 million monthly searches for Akita. 33,000 keywords. Once again, we're going to change the keyword difficulty to 10 or less. And so right now, we're just working on our traffic source. If we take a look at this, we're looking at traffic source. Will it be better to do a YouTube channel or uh, a website? You could also do you could, you could also do a Facebook group. Facebook groups are really cool um, for something like this. People love their dogs and they love talking about their dogs. And you could set up an automated process where you are automatically uploading content about Akitas or different dogs and start driving traffic that way. That's an opportunity. But look at this. Are dogs ticklish? Um, I, we are looking up our dogs. There are 354,000 monthly searches, uh, 3,000 keywords. So that's an opportunity that we didn't know existed. Our mangoes good for dogs. Our dogs allowed in Ikea. That's interesting and weird. Um, our bears related to dogs. All things that people are searching for. That has over 1,000 searches per month. And you could create an entire website about this. But let's take a look and see if you could do a YouTube channel. Now, what we're looking for when I look for YouTube opportunities, I'm looking for um, I'm, I'm looking for videos that have a ton of views, not by a lot of subscribers. So let's say um, I'm looking for a video that has more views than subscribers. Right now, it says our dog's ticklish, 764,000 subscribers, 2.4 thousand views. Um, Dog behaviors explained, tickling. So really, the interesting thing about this is there's not a lot of videos that are actually dedicated to this keyword, but um, we could, it looks like we could do either or both. Um, let's do, let's look at this one. Are dogs allowed in Ikea? This is a funny one to me because the answer is obviously a maybe depending on depending on if you have a service dog or not. So we're going to paste that in just like this. And let's see, are dogs allowed in Ikea? 31 views from two years ago. So this tells us that this might not be the best way to go for this type of content because this is a two-year-old video and they have 10,000 subscribers. Um, let's see, look at this one, 57 views, 379 subscribers. So if we wanted to do our dogs allowed in Ikea or our dogs, uh, we would probably want to start a website, which is good. Um, but if we take a look at this one for the Akita, you can see there are all sorts of questions that people are looking up with regard to Akitas. Now, another thing that we can do, and the reason that I love using Ahrefs, is we could look up different questions that people are asking, and we can use this. Um, let's see, how much is an Akita? Akita puppies, how to buy, uh, where can I buy? Um, let's see, how much do Akita puppies cost? I don't, these all will probably take us to uh, websites that we're not interested in, but I just want to check this one out real quick. Um, and the reason why I'm doing this is we can go out and find small and medium sized websites and then we can reverse engineer. Look at petbudget.com. This is probably a large website, but that's okay. Uh, pet price list. Um, yeah, all of these are probably larger websites. Uh, finance. Finances online. That's interesting. This could actually help us make money in the, the online business niche. But if we jump over here to this other page. Now what I'm doing just so that if you're coming in late, um, we're looking at dog products that we are going to eventually build an online business around. That's not what I wanted to click on. Uh, so we're, right now we're looking at traffic. Um, Michael said that he wanted to look at dog products. So that's what we're going to look at. Right now we are in the traffic research phase. Now looking at this, this is probably... I actually have this WordPress theme. So this is probably a smaller website and we're gonna use this. We're gonna copy the uh, copy link address if I can find it. And we're gonna go back over to Ahrefs and now we're gonna take a look and see what other keywords this site ranks for. And boom, this can actually give us some ideas. And what we can do, we're gonna close this. We can actually take a look and see what affiliate programs that they're on. It looks like they are on 
Let's see, this is an ad, so that's good. This is one way they're making money. Um, they're doing email marketing as well. All right, quick links, puppy cost, supplies, training. Um, it doesn't look like they actually have affiliate links within here, so that's that's okay. But, oh, they're selling merchandise. So that's interesting. You could be an affiliate for, or not an affiliate, you could actually sell merchandise through like Spring and make money that, that way, or Teespring, Dog Supplies Guide. They've done a good job with this website. Now let's take a look and see uh, what else they rank for. All right, so we're gonna paste this in just like this, hit enter, and we're gonna wait for that to come back. But hopefully you guys can see, and hopefully this is making sense. Right now we're in the, the, the traffic research phase. In my opinion, Right now, we want to start a blog. A blog would be, would be pretty cool. This is a, a smaller website, which is a good opportunity. It's not been around a long time, but they're, it looks like they're ranking for a few keywords. Um, let's see, let's see. So if we go back here, we don't really care about that. And so right now, oh, I, I keep losing this. Here we go. All right, so right now, we've done traffic. Now for our traffic, we're gonna do a blog. And unfortunately, I have to do a, one next to it here like this. So we'll do a blog. So if we double click, we'll say blog. And then we could say with YT boost. Okay, whoops, boost, boots, <laughs> P-O-O-S-T. There we go, blog with YT boost. So that's gonna be step one. I'm just gonna draw an arrow here so that I'm not confused. Uh, whoops, like that. And then we could actually drag this over too. So um, we'll do that. So step one, blog with YouTube Boost. Now the next step is to find affiliate programs. The reason why we want to do affiliate programs now is that we can start making money on the front end while we build out the back end. And the back end is going to be our digital products, our email marketing, all of that good stuff so that we can make even more money. So um, it doesn't look like, oh, excuse me, it doesn't look like they are monetize with affiliate marketing but what we could do is we could look up like um dog affiliate programs now what most people will do is they're going to go to that brain training for dogs that's over on clickbank that's a pretty popular affiliate program a lot of people gravitate to it and you could do that too if you wanted to or you could go over to like commission junction you could go over to share a sale uh, you could go over to um What's another one? Commission Junction, Share a Sale, Flex Offers is another affiliate product program, affiliate network. Easy for me to say. But what I did is I just typed in dog affiliate program, and you're going to see once this uh, silly drop down figures itself out, um, you're going to see there are a bunch of these websites out here that have done this work for you. And so what you can do is just scroll through, find one that you like, find Find a few that make sense. Now, what I like to do and what I recommend that you should do is if you are going to do email marketing, which I recommend, you find five or six affiliate programs that are in the realm of dog products. And the reason why you want to do that is so that you can promote different products and make money, make more money with the same customers, the same clients. So if we look through here, we've got Chewy, which will pay you $15. Um, I'm not going to bore you with reading through here, but you can see there's just all sorts of different affiliate programs. And the cool thing with dogs is there's tons of stuff that you can recommend. Now, if you don't know what to recommend, you don't know, um, see brain training for dogs. It's really popular over on ClickBank. You can make $31 and 74 cents per sale. Um, a lot of people on YouTube talk about it, but you can find organic affiliate programs. You can find dog food affiliate programs, all sorts of stuff and you could actually make money. Look at this, there's just tons of stuff. Um, what I'd recommend that you do, and what you can do, is if you're looking for ideas and you're looking for inspiration, hop over to Amazon. And Amazon is a giant search engine too. So if we go to amazon.com, and what we can do is just go through and type in dog. Dog, hit the space bar, and get a, get a list of things. So um, dog DNA test, that's interesting. And that could be something that we create content in. But if you're going to, if you're if you're going to maximize the amount of money that you can make, and it's one hundred and thirty-five dollars, so three three percent commission wouldn't be too bad. If you want to maximize the amount of money from this niche, you absolutely have to collect emails, and you have to have five or six affiliate products 
that that you recommend. And what you're going to do is you're going to have a five or six day sequence where you're talking about a product and you're linking the features and benefits and then you're adding in your affiliate links to the email and then you just keep adding on over and over again. And so that's why I like to do um, I like to do it in this way. Find the traffic, find different affiliate programs, and then just keep marketing. And, and then you can always add on more affiliate programs to the back. And then eventually, once we figure out, and this is another pro tip, once you have a, a, a sizable email list, you can ask your client base, hey, what do you guys need? What problems are you encountering when it comes to your Akita dog or when it comes to your puppy, whatever it is? And the people will tell you what they want. And then once they tell you what, what, what they want, what they need, you go out and create it and then you can sell it to them. Or another option is you can go over to if now I'm assuming that you have no idea what to do. You're not a certified trainer, uh, niche blogs. You can do niche blogs. You can make a large blog, make a small blog. Um, but as long as you are creating it, um, within a niche. So yes, niche blog. Um, when I, when, when people say niche blog, I'm, I tend to think of a blog that only has like a hundred, a hundred uh, blog posts. Uh, but a niche blog can be any size. It can be 30. It could be, it could be a thousand, a thousand, um, a thousand blog posts. Um, I just say, I just say blogs. That's why the word niche kind of throws me off. Um, so again, if you have no idea what to do, uh, when it comes to affiliate programs, you can do, Basically, do a little bit of keyword research right into Amazon. Now, you don't have to be an affiliate for Amazon. This is just one easy way to go. But look, these are all different things that people are looking up when it comes to dogs. And then you can promote or you can recommend uh, dog beds for, for large dogs. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and figure this out. If we're going to start a website, I like to use the word website instant, instant domain search to help us find uh, find ideas. And so what we would do is we would, um, just find, so we could do like, um, we could do like dog needs. If we're creating content about dogs, uh, your dog needs, your dog needs, or, you know, as long as it's related, just spend a couple minutes thinking about keywords. If we are using, let's go back over here. Um, how to buy, I don't want to do this one. Let's do, um, our dogs ticklish. So we could do something with our dogs. Where is, or our dogs. So we could do like, um, our dogs and then maybe, um, our, our dogs online, something like that. PLR products, reselling eBooks, buying and publishing. So what I would do if I had so I, I'm not a dog trainer. I know nothing about dogs. What I would do is I would either go out to Udemy and find someone that is a dog trainer and try and buy a course from them. Uh, you could do PLR, send all Sam cart, either one. I mean, whatever one you feel comfortable with. Um, I like doing the, the training and what you can even do is you can do this in multiple steps. You could find someone that um, you could either buy PLR, you could find someone to create a dog training book for you or a, a guide of some sort for you, and you can sell it for five or $10. And then you could hire someone, commission someone, Gumroad. Yeah, you could use Gumroad. It, it doesn't really matter. Um, all of those are just tools. You just need to pick a tool that works best for you. Yep, Fiverr, Upwork, people per hour. Pick a tool that works best for you and, and just go with it. I like and use ClickFunnels because it works easily for me. Some people don't like ClickFunnels because they see it as an expense, but it saves me time when I'm creating a course or when I'm creating a landing page. So uh, let's go ahead and get back into this. So if we just type in dog, let's see what pops up. We do dog, dog training. And what we can do is we can hire somebody to... Uh, create a course for us. Now, again, this is a long-term goal and a long-term plan. The theory is, and what I'd recommend that you do, is you would take the amount of money that you make from your affiliate programs and your free traffic source, and then you could actually, um, you could reinvest that into your um, buying a, a copy of the course. So 
that is some opportunities that you have to make money. And this is all coming together. Guys, let me know if this makes sense. Um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell if this video is helping you out. If this video makes sense, if you guys have questions about this, definitely, um, definitely let me know. So let's go ahead and keep going down the road. So what we're going to do or what you would do is you would create a blog with these keywords. Our dog's ticklish, our cherry's bad for dogs. Um, again, there's 354,000 monthly searches. There are over 3000 keywords. You would then go over and find affiliate programs. You can use Amazon. You can see some of these beds are, are pretty expensive. $143, you get 3% commission on that. And then the next step after that is to try and figure out different, um, try and figure out different ways to um, create digital products. Now you have to understand your digital product can be a, um, a book, an ebook of some sort. It can be a course. It could be an audio book. Um, if you have a, a podcast, people actually sell podcasts. As long as it is congruent with the target audience, it meets the needs of the target audience. And the best way to figure out what your target audience's needs are is to simply ask them. Once you build your email list, and I just want to write this down for a second. So um, uh, let's do this one right here. So um, what we would need and what I recommend that you, that you do is we're going to uh, let's see, we'll, we're, we'll go to, um, you're going to need a website, website like this, um, oops, website like this. You will probably need email marketing. Now, the cool thing with email marketing is there's been a shift in email marketing before you had to pay for it. Now, most places like GetResponse and Aweber will allow you to do email marketing for free for the first 500 uh, subscribers or the first 500 people that sign up. So I'm going to write like website. It'll probably cost less than a hundred. So we'll do 100 below that. We will do email marketing. We'll say free to start. And then you're just going to go out and create content. Now, depending on your mode of transportation, if you're going to use a website, if you're going to write blogs, you can either write it yourself for free. You could hire someone to do that for you and you could uh, pay somebody to do it create uh, create blog create a blog post that could be free we'll say and then once you get big enough you can hire people to do that and then the really the only other thing that i think that you would need uh let's see if we get back up the only other thing that i think that you would need is to save the money for the digital products you're going to ask what they need and then also to you're collecting emails so that you can follow up with additional products and services like uh, the dog bed you can even promote the brain training for dogs until you have your own thing you can actually promote them both congruently and the cool thing is is you can see that this has been done before you can see that uh, people are having success I typed in uh, dogs over on Udemy, and you can see that um, there are tons of these people that have created, uh, there's 8,000, over 8,000 results for for dog training. And what you would do is, or what I recommend that you do, or what you could do is find one that doesn't have a ton of, of views, a ton. Hey, Gabrielle, Gabriel, I never remember which one it is. How's it going? Um, you could simply find one, and then you could buy a copy of the course. So what you would want to do so that you're not spending your own money is you could come back. Uh, let's go over here. Um, you could save the money that you make from the affiliate programs and save the money once you are like monetized. Uh, if you're running ads, and I recommend that you run ads so that you can start having money, and then you can go out and spend that on digital products. Now, if we go over to uh, something like, uh, what's the website? I've lost it. Um, Upwork. If we go to Upwork, and I don't know that there's a difference between Upwork and Fiverr. I just feel like Upwork creates better, higher quality content. And what we can do is we can type in like, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, find talent. I don't want to, 
they change this so often that I forget how to use it. Uh, let's do let's do Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider. At one point, they had this looking just like Fiverr. But as you can see here, people will be willing to write different things for you. They'll go out and do all the research. And what you can do is you could hop over to, we've already got Amazon open. We could hop over to Amazon and we could go up here and look up something like um, dog training, just like this. Hit enter and then take a look at the different take a look at the different books that are out there. And what you're going to do is you're going to go through and maybe buy a few of these books and then you can give your ghostwriter more direction on how to do it. But what I really like is I really like if we go back over to Udemy, either offer to split the 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 income 50-50, 60-40 or or you can um, ask to buy a copy of it outright. Say, hey, look, I'll give you a thousand dollars. I'll give you fifteen hundred dollars if I can buy this course with permission to resell it. Make sure that you get it in writing. Have them sign a, a contract or an agreement, and then you can go out and sell the course for whatever you want. And what you could even do, depending on how long the course is, you can break it up into two courses, and then you can make even more money. Um, and then you can actually sell this with. You could sell this with WordPress if you wanted to. Um, you can sell this with click funnels. I like click funnels because they have to log in. You could actually sell this with, with uh, Google drive. I've seen people create a course, uh, a video course. And once they purchase it, they can actually just uh, download the entire thing with Google drive. But I like selling it with click funnels simply because I can add in affiliate links. I can add in links to other places, but I think this is a really cool opportunity. Guys, let me know what you think. If this video helped you out so far, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to be notified. But if you look at this, a lot of these guys have created dog training tricks and tips and all sorts of stuff, and they're not getting a ton of a ton of traffic. Now, when I first started looking at different ways to make money online, one of the things that was sold to me was, hey, just create a Udemy course and you can make a bunch of money. I'm sure that these people were probably told the same thing. And so you can find people that will be willing to partner with you. You can say, Hey, look, I've got, um, I've got a dedicated traffic source of a website and I'm getting maybe, you know, 3000 visitors per month or whatever number you have. And I think that I convert can convert uh, 5% of those 3000 visitors into, uh, buying this training or buying whatever it is. Um, what we can do, let's go back up to, let's go back up to Amazon here. If we didn't want to do dog training, we can just type in dog and take a look at the different books out here. And this is all designed to give us inspiration. We're not stealing anybody else's content. Um, we're not, you know, we're not just hacking people in and taking their content. We're looking for ideas. If we don't want to do dog training, if you feel like dog training is played out, there's other opportunities out there. Uh, let's do dog books, dog books. And the cool thing is, and I always lose this, but um, I just want to, let's do this here. So let's drag this over. We could sell print on demand also. And I just wanted to keep that in mind as a different way to make money. So we could make money on, and this is actually on the front end, print on demand, uh, Google ads, let's say Amazon. We could do the brain training, brain training for dogs. Um, we could find like seven products over on Amazon. We'll say seven products over on Amazon. We could also be an affiliate for Chewy and uh, what's the other one out there? There's like, um, is it Petco? I think Petco is another one out there as well. But you can see here, this would be building up a nice little side income. And so far we've only spent a hundred dollars. Now, once we get more than 500 email subscribers, it's going to cost us a little bit more. It'll cost us. Um, I don't remember how much it is over on get, get response, but let's say less than $20. It'll cost us less than $20 per month. And once again, we can ask them, what do you need from us to help you? And we can turn that into uh, another money making opportunity. And again, once again, these are the keywords. Let's see if we can go back over to Amazon real quick. All right. So if we look at this, there's all sorts of things that we could potentially look and 
use this as an idea. So if we, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Crafts, um, let's do crafts, hobbies, and home. We're not looking for autobiographies of, of dogs just yet. <coughs> um, let's see here. But what we can do, as you can see here, is hey, another thing that we could do, and I just thought of this, is we could actually sell photos of our dogs on our website. But if we look at this, this is a book of over 450 dog breeds, eighteen dollars and ninety nine cents, one thousand, uh, one one thousand reviews. So it's probably gotten tons of purchases, and that's an opportunity that we could create something on our own uh, about the dog breeds, and we can easily find that. Hire someone over on Upwork or Fiverr to create a book like this, and we could potentially sell it <clears throat> and make money. But, you know, just scrolling through, you can see there that there's different opportunities if you don't want to do the brain training for dogs. Um, we could talk about, we could create a book and we talk about, you know, strengths, weaknesses of the dog, uh, common health problems, all of that good stuff, expected uh, longevity, life expectancy, all of that good stuff, and potentially make money, all stemming from, if we go back over here, something like our dog's ticklish, our beats good for dogs. This is interesting because this is a, a different way of thinking about can dogs eat beets? It's the same question. People are just asking it differently. And you could use that as an opportunity to make money. What we can do is we can copy this keyword like this. Go back over to our search engine. Paste it in just like that. And once again, we can take a look and see what's ranking out there. Find small and medium sized websites and do this process all over again. Uh, affiliate marketing and making money online and starting an online business is essentially doing this over and over again. Um, you go out, find keywords, find ideas, and you do a little bit of research. You deep dive up and down. Pumpkin.care is interesting. You jump up and down the, the rabbit hole looking for different ideas and opportunities, and then you think of different ways that you can monetize it. Uh, what we could do, and I just thought of this, if people are asking about are mangoes good for dogs, why don't we create a, a cookbook or a recipe book to sell to dogs, uh, dog owners, dog lovers, how to cook mangoes properly, um, what to put in it, you know, the safe amount of, of mango juice or whatever it may be for them to, to eat it. But you can see that you could package this up and sell it. Um, if, and, and I think this could be a, a, a good seller. If you don't know, if you don't know how to do it, you could do a little bit of research. Uh, you can hire someone over on Fiverr, Upward People Per Hour to create a little bit of a cookbook. Um, let's see if, and we could even, an, another opportunity, another option is we could create a video course about cooking different foods. So let's go back over here and let's see if they have dog recipes. Uh, dog recipes or dog cookbook. Um, rescue dogs, all interesting. Um, dog cooking? Dog, uh, spell dog with two G's, two O's. Dog cook? Dog cook? Cook for dogs. And now we can take a look and see what, what people are doing and talking about and searching when it comes to cooking for dogs. Look at this. Um, so it has a hundred, it's had 40 students total. They're selling it, so not a ton of of traffic, good health and, and first aid, all things that we could potentially sell and make money. We could actually be an affiliate for dog insurance, so that's something we could sell on the front end. Uh, I could put this over here. Um, we'll say dog insurance, like that. These are all different products that we could sell. But take a look at this. We could either create or buy a course for cooking, teaching doggies how to, um, putting together recipes. Uh, actually, let's take a look at that too. Uh, let's go over to Amazon and we could go up to like um, dog cookbook. Dog, let's get out of this here. And again, this is all going to be ways that we can make money with the same traffic. Dog cook 
dog cookbook. And this is all based on what we found here. So um, this is based off of our marshmallows bad for dogs, our pistachios good for dogs. We could create a, a cookbook showing them the best way to eat pistachios or eat their favorite foods. Look at this. Um, mental exercises, Bon Appetit, 60 easy recipes. Selling for $5.99, only has 14, uh, four, 14 uh, reviews. But if we look, home cooking for your dog. These are digital products that we could create and sell uh, immediately. Doggy desserts, six, uh, 464 reviews. Um, but I like this home cooking for your dog, 951 reviews. And you could do this or hire someone to do it over on uh, Upwork. But you can see this is something that people are, are buying. Organic dog biscuit cookbook. You could create multiple cookbooks and sell them for $4.95, $5.95, $10.95 and potentially make money. Now, if you sell them yourself, you keep more of the profit versus if you um, if you put it on Amazon or you know, you're know you an affiliate for Amazon. Guys, let me know what you think. 90 healthy dog, healthy and easy dog food recipes all in my opinion really good opportunities to uh, make money with this simple dog product so we started off michael in the very beginning commented that he wanted to build a business around dog products what we did was i jumped over to ahrefs it is a paid tool and i typed in dogs and i actually typed in a dog type which was akita from there we did a little bit of research and we thought about building on our business we decided that Building a blog for dogs or about dogs is a better way to make money. After that, we jumped back over here. We figured out our traffic. We figured out different affiliate programs. Um, as I mentioned, what I recommend that you do is put together a list of five affiliate programs that you want to recommend. And, and you want to collect emails for email marketing, as you see, free to start. And then we actually start brainstorming digital products. And as we stumbled across, we could create a dog cookbook, we could create a recipe book, we could actually uh, hire someone, or uh, if we wanted to, we could record a, uh, a video training, a video course about cooking for dogs, sell it all on our website, and potentially make money. So that's really cool. And again, this could be a full-time income opportunity. Um, you know, if you want to say six figures, it could be six figures, because we have done all of the groundwork to get up and running. The only thing that you're going to spend money on in the beginning is to get a website. The rest of this will be free. And then uh, you can reinvest your, your earnings with uh, to buy your digital products or to have them created. Guys, let me know what you think. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell if this video is helping you out. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, let me know what you think because this is really all I have for you today. I think this actually turned out to be pretty cool. Uh, a very general term like dog products can lead to uh, selling print on demand if we wanted to make money with Google Ads, um, finding Amazon products, not just on uh, finding products on Amazon. Um, we found what was it called? It was like dog DNA, so you could actually figure out where your dogs are um, are from and you know their lineage. We could promote brain training for dogs if we wanted to, and dog insurance. There is affiliate program over on ShareASale that sells dog insurance or promotes dog insurance so you could be um you could make money that way and then once you make money or even in the background along the same time you can reach out and figure out how much it's going to cost to create your digital products now what i would do is i would ask my audience what they want and what they need and i would actually come up with tiered um tiered digital products so on the front end maybe i would sell a book a cookbook for uh, 495 595 and then uh, I would also sell the um, the course the, the video training the video course for 1995 or 2995 something along those lines and then you can see it start to stack and add up and you can do all of this through an autoresponder with email marketing and the cool thing with autoresponders is you don't have to have it all figured out right away you can simply just build upon what you what, what you have and what you're doing over time. And this is a cool opportunity, in my opinion, that you could start making money in the short term and long term. And we found some keywords that could help you out. Guys, let me know what you think. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Like I said, this is really all I have for you today. We built a, a business that could potentially, obviously, um, because we haven't built it out yet, could potentially make you some decent 
income. In fact, I really like this idea of the dog cookbook. I'm going to make a mental note of that. But what you can do, uh, what we can do is we can, and this is what I do basically every day, almost every day, is I will take a look and see what <clears throat> organic keywords, look at this. This is a tiny, a tiny blog. It has 37,000 organic keywords. And the, according to the traffic, it says it's $39,000 per per year, per month, uh, it's still a pretty good amount of money. And that doesn't account for affiliate products. So if we clicked on this, we can see what they're ranking for, take what they're ranking for that is low competition, and then create our own content and potentially make money. So I'm just gonna paste this other one in here about like, are mangoes good for dogs? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So I'm just gonna delete this period here, uh, just like that, hit enter. And then away we go. Uh, let's see. And then we could sort by keyword difficulty of 10 or less. <clears throat> and once again, you're going to see all sorts of stuff that you could create content on that's getting tons of traffic. And then you can just simply link out. You can connect the, the problem to the solution. Can dogs eat zucchini? Gets 12,000 searches per month keyword difficulty of five you just link the the problem and the solution and potentially make money can dogs eat mango Forty-three thousand searches per month keyword difficulty of five lots of traffic there lots of opportunity uh, to potentially make money um, guys any questions like subscribe ring the bell to be notified uh, that's all i have for you today guys thank you for stopping by i appreciate the time uh, I appreciate the input. I appreciate you guys reaching out and commenting in the chat. Um, thank you very much. I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Thanks for watching, and we will see you tomorrow.